how Diamond got away with the chaos he caused between Zari and Fantana is one that needs to be explained in season 3 of Young, Famous and African. It was very, very clear that every single thing Fantana accused him of telling her concerning Zari were true a hundred percent and for Diamond to publicly say to Zari and to a couple of friends that he never made mention of it and still had to go scot-free and having ended season two with a kiss and Fantana telling him I love you too got me so 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 confused how does this boy get away with the fact that he publicly made you look like a liar and the next minute you're all over him and giving him a kiss and returning i love you too this leaves me without that something could be wrong either fantana doesn't so much value herself or doesn't know her worth or she is so much into diamonds that she just can't let him go regardless of what he has done and not giving her a proper apology till date i still can't wrap my head around annie and swanky's fight i'm still wondering what actually went wrong is it just for the camera they decided to fight because everybody was fighting each other or it was really genuine and if it was really genuine i just felt annie had something to hide because swanky just kept insisting that he wanted her to open up what exactly happened did she or did she not have that phone call he was accusing her of having and annie seemed to be lost and i still can't believe how it is possible that somebody so claims he heard your voice and this is somebody that has had a long-term relationship with you so the person hearing your voice and admitting he heard your voice over phone could be very true and just wants you to admit and tell exactly what happened but annie kept on wanting kept on running away from the subject and eventually their resolution was something that was a bit off for me because if swanky felt everything was very 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 deep to him as he claimed then he's suddenly apologetic that he mentioned family on camera and is crying and all that and suddenly this person who was so hurt a few minutes ago has been able to let everything go and i just want to believe that there's something really off either about their fight or about how they finally resolved it zari some way somehow still so much wants diamond is failing to admit it she really wants diamond if not for for any reason she feels she's attached to diamond to diamond and diamond does not have to go anywhere but be with her because when um Fantana, when Kanye wanted to resolve the issue with Fantana, Diamond, Zari, and Swanky was a witness, when um, Diamond eventually denied having said any of the things he said, Fantana asked, why are you lying? Why are you not telling what you told me before everybody? And then Zari kept saying that he respects me, he can't say it, He's, he respects me, and then I was, whoa, whoa. How would you be publicly supporting a man knowing very well that this man has got something to lie and to make you look good before everybody you feel like okay so the only reason why he's not saying and admitting it is that he respects you that means you also know that he's not able to say the things he said to your face because he is hiding it out of respect for you and not because he didn't say it at all. Kanye, Kanye Imbao, I just think she's a multi-faced personality. This is a this is someone that is no one's friend. I think that 78 person in one shirt um Swanky gave to Lewis should have actually belonged to Kanye. 
because this is someone that is your friend today and the next minute can switch on you like within a snap. Kanye claims to have known Lewis way back, introduced him to the group. And this guy actually tells you that I want your advice on something. You go around making sure everyone hears of it. In your presence several times, this boy has been humiliated because of something that came from you, something that was spread by you. And not even once did we ever hear about the fact that Kanye apologized or was apologetic for what she did or even stood up even once in defense of Lewis. And I sat back and I was like, what kind of friend? would do that. Several times, Kenya has switched on her friends. She switched on Annie. She switched on Andley. She switched on um, Naked. And I'm wondering, what kind of friend is she? Kenya is a no man's friend. She switches on people as and when it pleases her. For her not to have still apologized, so I don't know if she did that behind camera, but for her not to have apologized publicly to Lewis, huh. of all the friends, I think the one true friend is Andley. Andley has proven consistently to be the one to stand by you, wanting to know you for you, wanting to address issues when everybody turned their back on Annie and the whole innocent issue. She actually wanted to know what is Annie's side of the story. When everybody was judging her for being that woman that stuck with a man in all of these times, Andile actually stood by her. When everybody was judging Lewis, Andile was there. I just feel Andile is a true friend everybody needs in their corner. I just hope that he finds true love as he is on the verge of finding it. With Rosette, he would be better off with Rosette. Rosette, he and Rosette have a friendship. They have a relationship. He mentioned he had a romantic relationship with Sebabato. But I just feel uh, Sababato is a bit held back. She is, she wants Andale, but she doesn't want to take chances anymore. But Rosette is, is all, all out. She, she's willing to give it a try. If it works, fair enough. If it doesn't, I give it a try. I just feel he gives Rosette a try and I'm glad he was able to resolve the fact that even though he has feelings for Sebabato, it would never be normal coming back with her. Naked and Kaylee, I'm happy for them. Like they are the one couple uh throughout the season. I I just really wanted them to have a good time. They have they have really um inspired a lot of couples i should believe because in their back and forth in all of this uh in as much as uh naked has his insecurities of course coming out of two marriages two failed marriages it, it would take anyone to hold back from going into into it again but i just hope he's able to overcome his fears and See Kaylee for who she is and yeah, something meaningful comes out of it. Young Famous and African is a great innovation. Whoever put that up is thumbs up to you because this is a very great reality show. In all of the characters, in all of the people in it, you one way or the other in real life are able to resonate with one of the characters. I found myself being, unlike other reality shows or other reality series where you just see luxury, the alive, the fight and all that. But this is a reality 
of how actually friendship is, how the love story of many are, and the many facets of life that we find ourselves in. A lot of people today, I feel, will be able to resonate with um, what Lewis is going through, what the Edibias are going through, what Naked and Kaylee is going through, who Fantana is, who Kenny is, who Zari is. You, one way or the other, will be able to connect with them. And there are a lot of lessons to be learned in this series. I look forward to a season three, hopefully coming out soon. And I just hope it's going to, it's going to continue for a while because I don't see it ending anytime soon. The name still remains Mami Abna Pukia. Kindly drop in the comment section who your favorite characters were. What your inspiring moment in the series was. And let's get interactive. Catch you in my next video. See ya. Screw.